Royal snub. Will Meghan Markle and Prince Harry miss Princess Eugenie's royal wedding? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to attend the highly anticipated wedding of Princess Eugenie and her long-term partner Jack Brooks Bank at St. George's Chapel on Friday, but the royal duo might be absent at a key part of the celebrations. Eugenie and Jack are set to tie the knot in front of over 800 guests at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on Friday, October 12 at 11 a.m. In a similar fashion to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's nuptials in May, Princess Eugenie's wedding ceremony will be followed by a reception hosted by the Queen in Windsor Castle on Friday. However, unlike Meghan and Harry who held their evening reception at Frogmore House on the same day as their ceremony, Eugenie and Jack's nighttime festivities will reportedly take place on Saturday evening at the Princess's family home, Royal Lodge located in Windsor Great Park. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be among the 850 guests to attend the wedding ceremony and afternoon reception, questions have arisen over whether they will attend the evening celebrations. A royal insider told Bazaar. Com that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will likely miss the evening reception due to their imminent travel plans. Harry and Meghan are scheduled to embark on their 16-day highly anticipated tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, and Fiji, and are due to arrive on Monday, October 15. The royal couple will consequently be obliged to depart London on Saturday to allow for the 22-hour flight to Sydney where they will attend the 2018 Sydney Invictus Games in support of wounded and recovering servicemen and women. The Duke and Duchess will miss out on the party of the season, which is expected to be a lot less formal than their own reception at Frogmore House. A source commented on the celebrations to the Times, saying, After the more formal celebration of Eugenie's wedding at Windsor Castle on Friday, the Saturday bash will be a relaxed party. There will be dojums and fun fair rides coconut shies, lots of food stalls, loads of cocktails, blood marries for the hangovers and a festival vibe. The Duchess of York, also known as Fergie, also raised hopes that the reception will be a roaring success in a recent interview, noting that her future son-in-law is an alcohol connoisseur. She said, the good news is that Jack works for Casamigos tequila so I'm perfect, he'll just hand me the tequila and say, come on mother-in-law down it. The afternoon reception is nevertheless accepted to be a more serious occasion, with the event being organized by Lady Elizabeth Hansen, the Queen's cousin and renowned party planner. A source commented on the event to the Times, saying, Eugenie and the Yorks have a free reign for their parties at Royal Lodge, but Lady Elizabeth is overseeing everything at the castle to make sure it's exactly what Granny wants under her roof.